Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Film Sci. Does the famous Dr. Pimple Popper actually help our patients or has she just become another one of those popular names that are just focused on making money but don't care about the well-being of her patients? Sandra Lee is a famous dermatologist from Los Angeles who gained recognition from her YouTube videos, but now we discover that she is actually really evil. Unnecessary promotion to channel. Dr. Pimple Popper became really famous because of her pimple popping videos and that are extremely satisfying and are enjoyed by thousands of people. However, it's also necessary to understand the risk behind pimple popping and how that can often cause scarring on the face. It's just as important to understand how some skin can also be treated with medicine and a good skincare routine. Recently, many viewers have pointed out that Dr. Pimple Popper is actually just using a lot of the cases to further the viewership on her channel. She purposely tries to make every acne case seem as there is no choice but to pop the pimples, which is beneficial for her since she can record those videos and upload them on her channel. As a doctor, her first responsibility should be towards her patients and not to her YouTube channel, something that Sandra seems to have forgotten. Harmful self-promotion. Dr. Sandra Lee recently launched her skincare line, and recently every video that she uploads there is some mention of the other of a product from her line. Of course, there is no denying that Dr. Pimple Popper's new skincare products may be genuinely good, but there is hardly a brand out there where every single product is a must-buy. Fans have caught on to this and commented on her videos saying how her self-promotion is getting out of hand and is hard to digest on screen. Some fans have also gone as far as to suggest that Sandra now purposefully creates situations where she can market her own line. Generating more revenue. Just as every skin is different, so every acne is too. People have different body types and there can be multiple reasons behind the outbreak of acne for a person. In fact, if you recommend the same products to everybody, then there is a chance that it will worsen a patient's skin condition more than helping it. It's also really unfair to give a patient false hope about getting cured when you know you're not treating them to be cured in the first place. Many patients come to her because of her media popularity and it looks like Dr. Pimple Popper uses it to her advantage by making sure they are commercialized on her channel in order to attract more customers. Withholding important information. The internet is filled with myth when it comes to the question of what causes pimples. Dr. Sandra Lee can often be seen talking about how oily foods can cause you to break out and cutting oil from your diet is the best way to reduce your breakouts. This is definitely good advice because oil can be one of the reasons that cause acne on your face. However, this is definitely not the only thing that causes a lot of people to have acne. It could be hormonal issues or underlying medical conditions. To just say that oil is the cause of all evil is rather misinformed and unprofessional behavior by a doctor. Rather, Sandra should use her channel to spread awareness about all the different reasons that can be cause acne and how to best protect yourself. Making deals with brands. Anyone who knows YouTube is well aware of the influence YouTubers can have on their fans, and brands take this opportunity to make deals with these influencers where YouTubers promote certain products in exchange for money. Since Dr. Pimple Popper has a huge fan base, a lot of big makeup and skincare brands have reached out to her for collaborations, some of which she signed on to. She makes sure to bring up their name and rave about their products frequently. While some of these products may be genuinely good, oftentimes it feels like she's just promoting for brands for the sake of it, and the products may actually not be as good as she makes them sound. Deception on a grand scale. When you become a doctor and start treating people, you take on an oath to always protect your patients and follow medical procedures that are in their best interest. Misleading a patient to make more money off them is probably the most unprofessional thing you can do as a doctor, but apparently it looks like Dr. Pimple Popper has no problem in doing this. She's often known to not share important information with her patients, so they keep coming back to her. For example, Dr. Sandra Lee mentioned how washing your face with plain water will keep your skin clean and make sure that no new pimples pop out. However, given our pollution levels and dirt, your skin definitely could go with some exfoliation or cleansing every now and then. Regardless, just washing your face twice a day rarely keeps the pimples away from most people. While Pimple Popper's advice is solid, it can be misleading for some people, and at the very least, she should put a disclaimer that says, just keeping your face clean will not automatically cure all your acne, and some people need stronger medication for it. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.